everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs uh, this is going to be for the moon sun and rising of Scorpio I do want to make a quick announcement um, and also apologize for uploading a little bit late I've been extremely busy it's been so crazy lately um, all thanks to you guys for coming to me and giving me uh, the support and you know I've been working very heavily with a lot of clients in regards to, you know, rituals and spell magic and all that. So I've been extremely busy uh, and that's the reason why I could not upload. I do, um, you know, ground myself in channel before I actually proceed to doing the, the readings. Um, and I just, I just been so drained um, from all the rights I've been doing back to back. So again, sorry, you guys, I'm trying the best I can. Also, I wanted to give you guys an update for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations. Look at the description box below. Now is the time to book your appointments as uh, the coming last three months of the year are always the busiest for me. That's always been, um, that's just the way it is. It's always been that way. And now, again, with my YouTube channel, it's, um, I'm already <laughs> experiencing a crazy wave uh, workload. So again, um, I can't promise you guys at the end of the year availability for readings because again, like I said, the last um, months of the year are extremely heavy for me workload wise. So I hope you guys understand and again, um, try the best you can to book now so you don't have to deal with waiting list and all that. Anyways, let's get into your reading. So before I actually get into the tarot cards, I do want to mention uh, for this month of September, for all the videos of all the zodiac signs, I did provide uh, guided information from my spirit guides as I did channel before um, I decided to do the video. So I channel for each single one of the zodiac signs and receive the messages specifically for your sun, moon, or rising. So again, let me uh, get into that first before we can move forward with the tarot cards, okay? So this is going to be for Scorpios uh, for the month, uh, sorry, for the sun, moon, or rising for September 2017. So um, Scorpios, there's a lot of promotions, sorry about that, there's a lot of promotions and increase, increase of money, but also increase um, or feeling very energized and motivated. Um, so what that means is if you guys have been feeling very drained for the last couple of months, uh, or a couple of weeks, um, you guys are going to start feeling an amplified, uh, almost rejuvenation of energy. Um, and it has to do with the fact that you guys are coming to a cycle where uh, you're kind of washing out when no longer serves you and vibrating to higher frequency. You're not going through the resistance of it changing already because I feel that that's already happened. And that's the reason why there's a feeling of re-energized um, uh, feeling more motivated, feeling more goal oriented and just wanting to be up and about. So that's going to be playing out all the way through the middle of October for you guys. Okay. Um, also, uh, spirit did say to stop negative self-talk. So what that means, um, don't, if, if you actually take the time to listen to your thoughts and how you talk to yourself or how you see yourself, uh, you go from, being good or, or, you know, being motivated to, I can't do this. I can't do that. Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Um, there's a lot of negative self-talk back and forth to yourself and to your brain. So try the best you can to keep that in check. Okay. Understand and know that what you think about the most is usually what correlates or what comes back to you. So again, um, if you're dealing with a lot of insecurities in regards to your body, in regards to your physical uh, or superficial on a superficial level, um, try the best you can to implement things that are going to assist you in achieving a goal that you're wanting, whether it's with diets, whether it's with taking care of yourself, whether it's with makeovers, anything like that. Sorry, anything like that, um, you know put effort into it and you will be able to see the results from it. Okay. Um, not insinuating whatsoever that, uh, you guys need any type of makeover. Uh, but spirit did say if there's a lot of insecurity things going on with you guys within yourself, um, instead of putting it in a sense of putting yourself down when you talk negatively about yourself, 
try the best you can to embrace whatever it is and if it's things that you can change about yourself then put the effort put the actual effort to see to see results okay um also everyone is out to get you that's the mentality you feel so for the month of september all the way to october uh, even november try the best you can to keep that negative talk uh, on check okay because it's to the point where you kind of feel like everyone's out to get you or you feel like people are judging you very harshly so try to get out of your mind Scorpios that's very important for the month of September um, you will see that energy will start to flow more more freely and there's not going to be a lot of negativity or a lot of negative talk uh, to yourself so try the best you can to implement that again like I said keep busy if you have too much time uh, put your efforts in other things and creative outlets and painting and writing uh, Whatever it may be that keeps you busy. Okay, that's gonna keep you sane also Yeah, and just um, basically Putting the effort to actually stay positive uh, Try the best you can not to be so negative all the time understand and know that people that tend to be very negative um, when surrounded with people that are positive they tend to uh, pull away because negative and positive doesn't go uh, and you start to find yourself to be a little bit more awkward or being socially awkward uh, because people you know just there's a tension going on there so try the best you can to stay optimistic and stay positive Scorpios so let's get into your reading for the month of September 2017 Spirit, what are the messages for Scorpios for the month of September 2017? What are the messages for Scorpios for the for the month of uh, September 2017? Adivinando desde el pasado y adivinando hacia el futuro constantemente mis seres me dan la facultad para ver más allá. Adivinando desde el pasado y adivinando hacia el futuro constantemente mis seres me dan la facultad para ver más allá. Okay, Scorpios, you have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Three of Cups, I mean the Three of Wands, the Devil card, the Six of Cups, the Magician, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the knight of cups general energies the ace of pentacles wow you guys have a beautiful reading scorpios okay so as a general energy or the surrounding energies for the month of september are going to be progress new beginnings and money manifestations or financial stability you have two aces okay wow i just noticed that you have two aces so you're starting off the month with the ace of wands a lot of work uh, feeling a little bit tired, overworked. Again, your energies start to balance out because you do have the Two of Pentacles here. And from the Two of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Cups. So it's moving on or moving away from feeling to have to balance everything to finally getting um, work or playing as a team or working in a team to achieve a goal, which you're one step from the Four of Wands, which is uh, stability. Uh, financially and emotionally as well you have the devil card here the devil card could be a representation of addictions it can also represent your dark shadow side Scorpio so try to keep that in check again it's not so much negative towards other people um, so much as your energy okay uh, being told uh, that your shadow side could be possessiveness could be jealousy could be spitefulness uh, could be feeling a little bit like everyone is secretly out to get you <laughs> is what I'm hearing so try to keep that in check try to keep that balance you have the four of cups here and the four of cups definitely talks about uh, God or the universe is giving you new opportunities or bringing to you new opportunities and instead of you appreciating that or instead of you being thankful for those type of opportunities what you're doing is you're kind of not paying attention to the universe you're not paying attention to the signs and you're not being grateful so there's a need for you to do that okay try the best you can to implement that um, stop the negative self-talk I feel like the devil card is more so 
about you uh, basically keeping you from growth or keeping you from advancement, um, again, because of that negative talk. So you have the Two of Pentacles here, which is the need for balance, but then you have the Six of Cups under it. The Six of Cups is definitely feeling a little bit nostalgic, nostalgic about the past, nostalgic about a person. It could be a person that you were dealing with from a past. It could have been a Capricorn because this is, the Devil card is definitely the Capricorn. Uh, it could be a fire sign that you were dealing with as well. If not, a uh, person from the past that has to do with an earth sign. So it would be a Capricorn, uh, Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, and be, being questioning or wondering um, about the past. So it's not so much about uh, being nostalgic in the sense of, oh, I wish I could go back into time. No, but it's like, oh, I wonder what they're doing or how they've been or if they only knew all this changes has happened in my life. You know what I mean? That type of energy. Now, the Magician card is next to the Six of Cups. Six of Cups can also represent children. So there's a manifestation happening here. So a manifestation when it comes to children could be um, if they've been dealing with health issues or health problems, there's definitely a recuperation. Uh, the Magician is all about having the tools on the table and being able to use them wisely. So it's like using the Law of Attraction to heal someone or using higher... Um, uh, energy to be able to elevate them to restore them to full health you have the eight of cups here so i mean the eight of pentacles so there's a lot of work uh surrounding you scorpios for the month of september going all the way to october um and you do have the ten of pentacles here so there's a need or a desire or a want within yourself to create your own family for those of you guys that are in a current ser uh, serious relationship or committed relationship, there is progression and there is progression progression based on the fact that there's a lot of advancements when it comes to money. I do see a lot of money for you guys, um, money coming in for the month of September. So it could be uh, getting raises. It could be um, making money on the side or even going into tapping into creative outlets that you do. So for those of you guys that are... Um, that don't have a job at the present time and you're in a relationship at the present time the devil could be a representation of like your dark or shadow side coming out more often but it has to do with the fact that you're bored it has to do with the fact that you don't have a lot of things going on at the present time but the magician card does tell you or ask you to go within yourself and to figure out what it is that you want it could be a passion or something that you do just to kill time or to sp for spare time whatever it is that can actually turn into a money business for you guys so try the best you can to tap into that or to what is it that you guys really enjoy what is it that you like doing that maybe you enjoy doing again like i said as a pastime as a pastime but it actually turns into a business for you now, you do have the Ace of Cups here, and the Ace of Cups is definitely talking about feeling the love and being reciprocated when it comes to love and romance. For those of you guys that are single at the present time, there's definitely a fire sign or a Capricorn coming into your life. Uh, this is a person that perhaps is connected to your family. So it could be uh, like a family member knows them and brings them around you or something like that where there's a connection or that's the start of the connection. The Ten of Pentacles definitely does promise abundance and growth when it comes to finances. And the Ace of Cups definitely promises new beginnings. For those of you guys, again, like I said, that are in a serious monogamous relationship, there's a rejuvenation and um, new beginnings in this relationship. So again, it could be uh, that of growing a family. It could be that of growing um, or putting money aside to be able to actually buy your first home there's a lot of movement here for the month of september for you guys and finally you end up as the knight of cups so the knight of cups could be dealing with another water sign so it would be another scorpio like yourself a cancer or pisces and this is a person that is um the knight is one step from the king so the knight could be represented as in the past you've seen them as a little bit immature or it could be that they see you as a little immature, but you're one step away from actually becoming or coming into your own and being very balanced, okay? Uh, this is definitely a beautiful reading for you guys, Scorpio. So many blessings for you guys, and I will see you guys in the middle of the month for the love readings. Blessings, and we will see each other.